What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We are here with another Metallica reaction. This time, we're checking out The God That Failed, right, from the Black Album, which a lot of you are saying that that's like one of y'all favorite albums that y'all like to listen to. And it's a self uh, not a self, it's a fan title song because they didn't release a title for it, right? It just came out as it is, and it was black, so people was just like, hmm, black album. Anyways, I've already reacted to it at least, I think I've reacted to almost about 50% of the songs on here, but uh, I've decided that we're going to go ahead and try to make it throughout this entire album. So, um, uh, plus, with an addition to the ones that I've already done, we're about to add another one. So, let's go ahead and shut up and turn up. It's Metallica, baby. Bro, I, I tell y'all, yeah, man, I really love it. I, I love the slow, the slow cadences, slow breakdowns in metal. I absolutely love it. I don't know what it is. It's probably a universal thing. A lot of people will probably always love that type. I don't know what it is. It just makes you just, you got to bob your head to it. Now, what's interesting at the beginning was, uh, you know, came in with the bass, you know, and, and everything, but it was the call and response that was going on in between the, between the, uh, the, uh, the guitars, right? Uh, and I don't know if this is something that was edited or if it was played between two guitarists, but um, uh, you hear that a lot in jazz as well. So it's almost kind of like it had more of a improv kind of feel to it with that call and response. And not only that, but it was panned from the left and the right. So I just wanted to point that out before we got into the lyrics. <laughs> okay now just that first chorus now imagine if you sitting there and let's say that you running with another person right and both of you guys are just talking about something maybe you just gossiping then all of a sudden you start realizing that yo your breathing is not under control right you haven't been pacing yourself so both of you guys stop talking and you start running and then now you got control of of your breathing that's what i got with that with the k with the with the lyrics and everything right they can't they change the time signature they have some off beats here or there and then they go right back into just that that right the, the four four uh time signature as what they were you know they were playing around with the lyrics that's what it thought me of it's like conversation and now here's your chance to sit here and realign yourself with this hard backtrack that's planned before we jump right back into it okay
I'm telling you, if they're ever, I mean, yo, it's just the way that that, the way that the guitar solo just revved up, and then they gave, they gave that little break, and then the guitar just came in and started singing full force, right? Now think about how the beginning of the solo started, when it was like, right, when he was climbing up the scales, right? That almost kind of gave me, the, the sound kind of gave me like a sense of, of, you know, they're saying follow, you know, the God that fell, follow the God that fell. So that sound, when he was going up the scales and everything, um, I forgot what it was called, like the musical term, um... It kind of gave you that sense of of wonder. I don't know what it is. It's just something about the sound that gives you like that sense of wonder or that sense of uh, uh, otherworldly. So that was great that they started that. And then like like anything when the solos, you know, you hear words in the solos and everything. So it was almost like a conversation that was taking place about this guy that did fail, right? And it was leading up to the actions of the things that made him fail. And then that right before that break happened and we heard the second solo, right? That was like that that final like cry, just like, ah, or like like the fall of the God right there and there with that break. It's like that break, it's like when he snapped, and then, boom, it just came crashing down, man. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear the way it was sinking? Oh, man, it was sinking pretty, too. Sorry for all these interruptions that's going on. I have no idea what's going on, but you can't stop Metallica, so we're going to keep pushing. Call and response. Okay, yo, that ending, right, uh, like right before the end when he was singing, it's interesting because, you know, he's saying he said, follow the guy that fell. The drums, the way that they kind of broke down, almost, they almost almost have like a tribal feel. And when I think of tribal drums, I'm sitting here thinking of uh, like tribal drums that, that and you think of tribal dances that associate with tribal, uh, tribal drums. And then you see them, sometimes they dance, sometimes they do follow each other when they dance, like like dancing in a circle or any type of dance that that's that's accompanied by you know, like, like native or like tribal or, or percussion. And as a group of people doing the same dance. So, uh, I might be reaching a little bit with there, but that's what I thought about with that, the last piece of drums. Um, now the ending, that's interesting the way that they just went from hard straight into soft, right? Cause like I said, it's, it's like for the most part, we get hard, brutal energy throughout the most part. And then it just ends on, on a soft note. Uh, kind of in softly and we think about in that lyrics where he said the healing hand held back by by uh what's that deep in nail uh, yeah right there the healing hand held back by the deep in nail so sitting there like the healing hand like somebody who's like nice and soft and not nice and soft <laughs> somebody who's uh well, nice kind if you will and this is pretty much like like we we're saying throughout the entire song like almost like a battle or more like a lesson. And then that last part is like a return to the, the innocence, the innocence of you, like the end of the story. All right, now you have your instruction, pull forth and do my bidding. You know what I mean? <laughs> Other than that, man, this was a pretty nice story um, and pretty nice lyrics. I still don't understand like what the concept behind this one was, probably because I was too enveloped in the music. Sometimes that happens, especially if I don't see anything that says eye catching. I like like this lyric that's come that's pointing out to me 
at the lyrics. If the lyrics aren't saying anything to me, then usually I try to see what I can think of just by listening to the music composition and and, uh, and try to think about the type of music uh, design, the sound design and the music there is that they put into place to try to see if I can form a story from that one. But either way, I did like this song. To this day, I have not heard a song off the Black album that I did not like. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can keep that going. Um, <clears throat> again, I do have a playlist to all my Metallica reactions. It will be included at the end of this video. So definitely go and check that out if you want to see some more of my uh, Black album uh, Metallica reactions. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.